Let's take a look at the structure for cyclopropane. So we'll look at the structural formula here for cyclopropane, and then we'll look at the molecular formula as well. So we start out, notice that we have A-N-E here at the end. When you have A-N-E, that means it's an alkane. So we're gonna have all carbons and all hydrogens, only just carbons and hydrogens, and they'll all be single bonded. The pro, pro means that we'll have three. So when you see pro, like propane or propanol, we're talking about three carbons here. So three carbons, all single bonded, and only hydrogens in addition to the carbons. Finally, cyclo, that means they're gonna be in a ring. So let's put three carbon atoms in a ring and put hydrogens around them. Since carbon always has four bonds, we can put bonds off here and put our hydrogens. So this carbon here has one, two, three, four bonds, and so on. So if we want to write the molecular formula, we have one, two, three carbons, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those hydrogen atoms. That's the molecular formula. Sometimes you'll see it just written like this with just a triangle, but we know that carbons are at each point here and each carbon has two hydrogens. You could even put a molecular model on top of this, and that would give you a sense of the three-dimensional structure. The gray, those are the carbons, the whites are the hydrogens. So this is the structure for cyclopropane, and then we have the molecular formula as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.